welcome to another edition of Hess STEM Sprints. I'm Justin. I'm Kason. And we're here today to work on a cool project that I think everybody can understand. Like many folks who might be watching, we had to change our vacation plans this year too, right? And we started thinking with, without airlines, what could we do? And what were we talking about? RVs. Taking a possible RV trip. And it just so happens that the 2018 Hess RV has the perfect little project that's kind of STEM, maybe STEAM, right? There's some art in this one, science, technology, engineering, art and mathematics. Has the perfect STEAM project in its curriculum called On the Road with Vehicle Performance. And we're going to do an exercise in there that's all about designing the interior space of an RV so that it would be perfect for our vacation, right? And you can see where the driver's section would be. And in this kind of sport utility one where it carries vehicles, the only living space would be in this little area up here, which is about two inches long. The rest of this space in a real RV could also be living space. So we're gonna make pretend that we have all this space to work with today. And Casey's gonna do a project where we're gonna create from scratch what he wants his living space and his RV to be, right? Yeah. Now, in order to do this, we want to make sure that we get the proper scaling of the space that Kaysen is going to have to design his truck. So before we get into the actual designs, let's talk a little bit about scale. So I thought the best way to talk about scale is actually maybe with the trucks. So you have something that is full size. In this case, this is a 2011 Hess toy truck and race car. Uh, if you don't know, every year Hess has miniature versions of older holiday toys that get released. And we do them at scale, meaning at a smaller size, right? Replicas. So here I have our replica at scale. The easiest way to explain scale, I think, is to compare a holiday Hess toy truck, which is pictured on the top, to the smaller miniature Hess toy trucks that we release each summer. In the example here, the red boxes show the same amount of space. It would take approximately nine miniature Hess toy trucks to equal the size of the holiday Hess toy truck in this case. So the scale is a nine to one ratio. Another example shown here, there are two sets of triangles. The one on the right is half the size of the one on the left. You can see on the right-hand angles that the larger one is a 10 and the smaller one is a 5. So that's a 1 to 2 ratio for the scaling. A normal RV, a real one, can be anywhere from like 20 feet to 52 feet long, almost the size of a bus. So you can create all different versions of scale. Now we found it easier in our experiment to use a RV inspiration of a 25 foot vehicle where there was 21 feet of living space as pictured on the right. And that's because we found a box lying around our house that measured 21 inches long. That allows us to have a similar blue space as you see here on the right, 21 feet of living space to our 21 inches of box space, a perfect one inch to one foot or one to 12 ratio. And here we'll cut our box in half so that it only measures seven and a half wide, which is approximately the same size as the model RV we're inspired by. Box in half and what we've created is the perfect space, which is very similar to the shape of an RV. And if you can imagine, either you can imagine taking one wall away and you would have the space to create what you're looking at from the inside. And Kaysen, you didn't want to do that, right? What did you want to do? I want to do it like this. Alright, so Kaysen wants to make pretend we take the entire roof off and so he can look down and create all of the layout that he wants and free space to work. So I think that's a great idea. So we're going to get to work. Yeah. This is what you used. Just tell us what you did. I used cardboard and paper and tape for my RV. And then I approached it by making a sketch with scale of one inch for every foot. Why don't you hold up so everybody can see your sketch, your little sketch. Great. It, I drew the rooms according to like 25 feet and every inch 
would be a foot. Excellent. So why don't you bring your version of the RV here into screen, uh, grab it, slide it over here, and why don't you tell everybody what you got, what you did. It had, there's two full beds could go up here, probably, maybe. Is it open to the sky? It, it'll have a roof, but it will be able to open up and have a glass roof on top. Great, what else you got inside? And then inside. Oh, it opens this way? Okay, hold on. Whoa. All right, this is our cutaway so we can see what's inside. Excellent. Inside is, this is my bathroom with a shower over here, a toilet, I see. and a sink over here. Wow. And over here is a bedroom. Wow. In the front, I have a pull out. This pulls out, making room for a couch to pop up. And then in here is a kitchen. Which is in there. And the driver would be where? Kind of just beyond be this, it would be in that section. Here. So you just did the back section. All right, excellent. Uh, so I think it's great. So again, you use one inch to one foot. So you think of that as a one twelfth fraction or ratio. Uh, so that's our quick lesson on scales. All right, we're, now we're gonna go do another STEM activity with the RV, right? Yeah. All right, we'll see you with the next STEM sprint.